Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm on 18w14b and I wanted to do a showcase today. This was sent to me by a YouTuber or Redstoner. His name is Chuck Chuck and he sent me a concept through email and it's bookshelves in Minecraft. It's basically shelves not just for books but you can place other things as well. You can see that I've placed my diamond swords, uh, potions and food on the right here. I've got several examples and unlike the bookshelves that you see in villages and you can craft, these are customizable bookshelves. This is a very polished concept. Uh, this is a data pack that you can install. I'll leave the video link because I think he deserves it. That will contain the download link that you can then install as a data pack and a resource pack. Okay, so right here you can see uh, several bookshelves. These are in fact armor stands. They have different poses that will create the bookshelf. Um, these are actual books I can put back in. These, uh, this is paper. And, well, actually, that's all I have right now. Um, this is a book and quill. Whoops. So this is just a fireplace. Um, I thought this would look pretty lovely. I'm not, I'm not a really good builder, but these bookshelves definitely help uh, make me look good. Uh, this is uh, a stone brick bookshelf. A lot of different types here. Um, you've got bread, redstone torches, books. You've got food here. And you can have gaps as well because you don't have to fill all the sides, uh, well, the entire area because there are three slots. So there we go, and this is a doorway. So this is a secret place. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a secret place. Of course, the, since these are entities, you can walk through them. Has some utility there as well. Okay, so how do you do this? First of all, download the zip file and you can install it. It's 1.13 compatible and hopefully it will be when 1.13 is completely out. Uh, it seems as though the commands have run dry a little bit, so we won't see a lot of changes. Um, Notably though, what you can do is craft a lot of different types of bookshelves. For instance, let's go to the planks area. This is the general structure of it. So let's get the acacia planks. I don't have one right now. And grab the slab, normal slab. And this is the crafting structure. Of course, this uses custom crafting recipes. Right now, it does only use spawn eggs. The problem though is we don't have NBT tags that are compatible with custom crafting recipes. So I don't think that's going to be a thing you can do uh, anytime soon. Let's craft it. You have to be in survival mode. This is something that he installed because uh, it depends on whether you want to use the actual spawn egg in creative mode. Right now it's only in survival. That's when the exchange happens. So now I have an acacia bookshelf and you spawn it. There we go. And then you can put anything you want right there. You can take them out and so on like that. And if you want to destroy it, you have to create a hammer. And you need gunpowder for that. So let me just give myself some gunpowder. Just put that there. And you have a case spider spawner, which is actually just a shelf hammer. And you can only destroy bookshelves when they're empty. So if it had things in it, it wouldn't work. You'd get this error message. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. So it says shelf needs to be empty before you can remove them. So just make sure you remove all the contents from the bookshelf and then you can delete it. Um, other things that may happen is if you have um, a bookshelf on top of a bookshelf, for instance, and you can't actually access the block it's on, just make sure you try and hit the block that it is behind or adjacent to, and that will work. Otherwise, um, it is essentially just armor stands holding items. Now, the problem here is if you have such an arrangement like this, you might get in the way. So it does require some precision to allow you to right-click into proper place so the item does go in the proper place you can see that sometimes um, there might be a few inaccuracies there but that's understandable it's completely worth it for a decorative aspect like this this is really beautiful and definitely adds to your survival experience and it does not interfere at all other than the fact that it is entities so um, just how meticulous this looks the amount of detail is something that is commendable and I think this is definitely a good indicator of what you can do for 1.13 custom crafting recipes you have custom resource packs block models and the commands that are revamped and provide more complexities it's something that you can look forward to 1.13 so make sure you go and download this and try this for yourself and uh, subscribe to truck truck too maybe he's gonna make more content and also there are a couple of functions that will give you all of the items and you guys can read the readme text uh, that's available in the download. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this video and for Chuck Chuck. Subscribe for more creative content. Take care.